be ready and well represented in Rio this year. In fact, we have several athletes who will be competing in the Olympic Games. But well, one of those athletes is not a member of the U.S. national team. Eyewitness News reporter Jenny Rundovich is here to show us her unique road to Rio. Jenny? Yeah, John and Andrea, Lexi Laird is a swimmer who's lived her entire life here in the U.S., but she is a dual citizen, and next month she'll hit the pool for another country. For Alexis Laird, the road to Rio began here at IU's natatorium. She's looking to make a splash at the Olympic Games in the 100-meter backstroke. But this Kokomo High School grad and former standout swimmer for IUPUI won't be representing the red, white, and blue. I know both of the anthems pretty well, so. <laughs> Laird will be swimming for the Seychelles, a country literally on the other side of the world. It's an archipelago of 115 islands in the Indian Ocean off of Africa, and they are stunning. Solely they make their money off of uh, tourism, and uh, it's a really great honeymoon spot. Uh, Kate and William, the prince and princess, went on their honeymoon there. Laird is a dual citizen of the Seychelles and the U.S. The 22-year-old is able to compete on their national team because of her family heritage. My father was from the United States and my mother was from the Seychelles. So, you know, it's kind of just having a little piece of both of them. She'll be one of just six athletes from the Seychelles in Rio. And for Laird, <laughs> representing her mom's country carries special meaning. My mother passed away when I was really young, so it's, it's a really great way to honor her. She's already honored her heritage with gold medals and record-setting swims. At IUPUI and in the Seychelles, I have quite a few records. It's pretty exciting. In fact, she won three golds at the Indian Ocean National Island Games. They were really happy. I was, they called me the golden girl. But the Olympic Games? <laughs> that is realizing a dream. And this Hoosier... We'll have fans cheering her on from all sides of the world. I've trained for a really long time, and I never really thought that I would be swimming past college, and this is just a really great opportunity for me to end my swimming career. She is a really sweet young woman. Lexi trains, by the way, up in Carmel. She's thrilled to get to Rio next month, but she also has goals out of the pool. She worked very hard for her degree. She's getting her CPA, and she is ready to start a career as an accountant when the Olympics are over. John and